junk journal ideas. I've got lots of them for you today, including floating embellishments, interactive pockets, and a quick and easy pop-up page. And they're all using gorgeous printable vintage butterflies. Here we go, y'all. Well, hello and welcome to Pink Paper Peppermints. I'm so glad you're here today. I have lots of fun ideas to share with you and I am working in my well-watered garden journal. This is the ephemera kit from my well-watered garden collection and we're going to be using this but when I started making these ideas I was using the butterflies that come on the ephemera sheets as you can see here and there's one or two on each sheet and I realized you probably are going to want to print a lot more butterflies than that so I actually created a new kit of some of the butterflies from the well watered collection actually all of the butterflies from the well watered collection and then I also added a couple of new ones and some pattern paper so I've got them mixed on a sheet like this and then also each butterfly has its own full sheet so that you can print out just one kind of butterfly if you want to do some of these projects so I'm really excited to show you what we're gonna do the first thing obviously you want to do is cut out your butterflies and we are going to make an interactive pocket and I wanted to show you here when I cut these out a lot of times I just cut their little bodies off <laughs> um, that sounds horrible but th they kind of get in the way with certain projects so don't feel bad if you if you want to cut those off I include them in case you want them but if you don't you can just cut them right off so these are some envelopes from my ephemera kit and I'm actually going to create a real envelope from this piece of ephemera and the first thing that I want to do is cut off the flap of the envelope as you can see here and what we're going to do is sew this to some pattern paper to create a real little envelope from it and this is the second one and this is the pattern paper I've printed it front and back on just regular printer paper and I'm just going to cut it to size so that it is just slightly smaller than my piece of ephemera. I'm going to lay that on top and I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew around it and then I'm going to attach my flap to create the envelope. So I'm back from the sewing machine and I've just done a straight stitch around the sides and then a zigzag stitch to attach the flap to the top of that piece of paper and now I have a real little envelope from my piece of ephemera. And so now I want to include these butterflies in my little pocket, but I want them to be interactive and to kind of stay together. So I've cut a little tab here. I've printed a third envelope so that it would match and I just cut a little tab from it and it's gonna go right into the pocket. And now what I've done is sewn the butterflies together leaving about an inch or a half inch of a gap between each butterfly so you don't take it out of the machine you just keep sewing and create that gap so that you have this pretty little string of butterflies and what I'm gonna do now is just use washi tape and tape them to the back of the tab and so you just want to flip the butterflies over so that they're face down and lay the string on the back of the tab and use your washi tape to attach them now these are going to get all twisted and tangled when you put them in the pocket and when you when you pull them out they just kind of twirl and they're so pretty so don't worry if they get tangled up that's just kind of part of the interactiveness of it and you're really going to like this when you pull them out they're really really pretty and you could add quotations to them. You could have words hanging down with the butterflies as well. I think this is just a really pretty and fun interactive pocket to put in your journal. So now what we're gonna make is a little pop-up accordion fold with these butterflies. And you're gonna need about five or six butterflies depending on the size of your page. I'm using this page wrap from my Well Watered Garden collection. And so it's gonna take me about five of the larger size butterflies. And you'll just have to play with it to see how many that you need to go all the way across. And before I do that, I wanted to put a sentiment. So I'm using these pretty pink alphabet stickers from A Beautiful Mess. And now I'm gonna make my accordion fold. And basically what we're doing is we are going to attach our butterflies just on the edge of their wings. You don't wanna go all the way across because they need to be able to pull apart a little bit. And you wanna make sure that you give them a nice crisp fold in the center before you start to attach them. So each butterfly we're gonna put a little adhesive on and you'll see I, I get this all ready and I'm all excited and I glue it down to my paper. And you may have figured out already what I've done wrong here, but then I suddenly realize when I go to put the page into my book that uh, that's not gonna work because <laughs> I've attached the butterflies and now they won't slide into the page. So 
I have to take them apart and slide it in under the elastic and then attach it back. So if you, when you do this, make sure that your page is already into your elastic or is already sewn into your book. And so once I have the butterflies attached, you'll see as we open it up, we get this beautiful accordion fold of the butterflies. It's super simple and super fast. Really the hardest part is cutting out the butterflies. And once that's done, you've got a really quick and easy project. So this next one is another super easy and fast one. We're gonna make a little butterfly pocket half page. And so I've just folded half of my page of my Traveler's Notebook insert. I folded it in half to create the pocket. And I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and attach my butterflies. I sewed up the two sides and attached the butterflies just right down the side of the pocket. And now I've got a little pocket, a little half page. It gives it a lot of interest and a lot of texture to your book. And if you want, you can bend up their little wings to give even more texture. So the next thing we're gonna make are floating embellishments. We're gonna create this flip up that looks like our butterflies are floating right off the page. And we're gonna do that with some white tool and we wanna attach it to the flip up and to the page, creating some tension so that it's taut. Basically, you wanna have like a 90 degree angle between your card and your page. And I've done that here. You can see I used a zigzag stitch to attach the tool to the top of the card and the bottom of the page. And you could also use a stapler. Uh, or wet glue. Wet glue would take forever. I just don't have the patience for that, but you could do that. And once you have that ready, all you're going to do is attach your butterflies. I used my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Uh, it barely shows, and it, it's a really quick and easy way to attach them. You could sew them beforehand, or you could use, again, wet adhesive if you have the patience for that. And that's it. And you have this gorgeous floating embellishment flip up in your book. And it's so delicate and so pretty. Just one of my favorite ones that we've done today. So the next one that we're going to do is a little pop-up card for our page. And I'm using some ephemera from my ephemera kit from Wellwater Garden. And I will link that in the description below. And we're just going to cut everything out. I've got some butterflies, a swan, and some cards and a label. I've got everything cut out here. And I'm also going to use a book page because we want to give a border around the top of the card. That's really important to kind of cover up the mechanics of our pop-up. So I'm just going to cut about a quarter of an inch of a border of this book page around my card. And I'm going to use this label as a little tab so that we can use it to lift up our card. And our pop-up is going to be underneath that card. And so I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and get it all attached. And now I'm back from the sewing machine and I've used a zigzag stitch to attach everything. And now we're going to work on the mechanics of our pop-up. And I've printed some of my pattern paper here. Uh, this is a pink pattern paper that comes in my ephemera kit and I've cut it into a strip that's just slightly more narrow than my card. So it's about maybe an eighth of an inch more narrow than my card and you're just going to accordion fold your strip of paper back and forth so that you end up with three folds and I had to do this a couple of times to get it just right. So if you have to do that don't worry about it just play with it until you get that accordion fold with three folds in it. Once you have those folds, you're going to fold it up and the two pieces, the two flaps should be at the top. So you see here I have those two flaps. Those should be at the top and then at the bottom you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut two strips so that we're cutting a square shape. Two strips, you want them to be about the same size and we're going to fold that down and press. And then when we fold it out, you see there's our shapes and I'm just going to push those shapes out so that the fold of those shapes is opposite to the fold of my accordion album. And this is a little harder to explain than it is to actually do. So when you get ready to do this, just sit down with the video as you do it and you'll see it's a lot easier to do than it is to explain it. Once you have these shapes all pushed out, you want to press the folds and when you open it up you'll see that you've got kind of a little stair step mechanism here and that's what we're going to attach our ephemera to to create our pop-up. First we want to attach it to the card and to the page and you can see this is kind of how it's going to open up once we get it all done and we're going to take our dry adhesive or wet adhesive and attach first attach it to the top of the card and you want to just make sure that your card is upside down when you 
place your fold on it because we're going to be flipping it up you want it to be upside down from the accordion fold so that the fold faces forward when you flip it up and so I've got that attached here and you could also attach this to a separate card if you wanted to tuck it into a pocket or even give it to a friend as a gift but we're just going to attach it to the page here and I'm going to leave space at the bottom of my page to journal and now we have our mechanism all ready I'm pulling the strings out of it there and it's ready to add my ephemera and so I'm just going to attach some butterflies and my swan you could also attach photos you could attach quotes uh, other pieces of ephemera there's a lot of fun ways that you could use this pop-up in your journal and I think interactive pieces in your journal are so much fun when you go back to read it just gives you more ways to interact with your journaling and with your memories so everything's ready now and you can see a little bit of the pop-up sticks out at the bottom which is why we had that border and I just didn't make it quite wide enough so you may want to add a tab or make it a little wider if that bothers you I'm not too worried about that I, I don't mind leaving it that way well, I hope you had fun and learned lots of new ideas that you want to try. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, would you give it a thumbs up? It really makes a difference and I would appreciate that so much. And hey, if you haven't seen my other junk journaling videos, head over to the junk journal playlist because I have tons more ideas for you. And I will see you next time here on Pink Paper Peppermints.